Hey guys, it's Brie and welcome back to another video. Now today I have a really exciting video for me specifically because I received an eBay order. <laughs> I don't usually order things on eBay and I feel like every time that I do order something on eBay it's through sheer impulse. Like this was a major impulse buy. All right, I'm just gonna open it up. I don't know how hard this package will be to open. Also, I'll probably blur out whatever's on the front. Just need scissors for the last little bit. Ooh, here's the back. So I ordered the Requiem of the Rose King art book. Uh, this came out in 2018, I think, and I was just like googling Requiem of the Rose King images because I really like the art. Uh, Aya Kano, I believe the artist's name, or how you pronounce the artist's name. I love her work and apparently I'm just struggling with this piece of tape. So I really love Aya Kano's works. I was super excited to be able to pick this up. I actually ordered this and I think it was $60 Canadian, which isn't bad for an art book coming directly from Japan. I have certainly paid a lot more for art books, especially for ones in full color. This one is also in full color. I like the plastic slip it came in. I'll probably keep that. Ooh, oh. The cover feels so nice. It's like a matte kind of cover finish. Uh, we have Richard on the cover, kind of like the duality of Richard with his masculine side and feminine side. I was totally drawn in by this cover. The lettering on it is actually, I don't think my camera will be able to pick this up, but it's like oil spill rainbow. That's really nice. Yeah, open it up. It's a nice slip cover. Oh, I already see the first piece of work. Now this piece is actually the cover for the German version of Requiem of the Rose King. And when I saw the cover of the German publishing of Requiem of the Rose King, I'm like, I am so jealous. I love this piece. Most of these pieces are art that was already in the manga. Unfortunately, the pieces that weren't actually used for covers of the manga, we never really got to see in color because they're usually painted in black and white. That was the main appeal to me of getting this art book. I'm just going to do a quick flip through, but I really recommend picking up a copy if you see some of the art that you like. Oh, this is the second cover, and this is like the intro to the second volume. I guess I don't have to worry about translations because I own the second volume. Oh my gosh. I feel like whenever Richard is dancing with skeletons, that's just a sign that something bad is happening in the manga. <laughs> Man, I love this piece with Richard's brother. I can never remember any of their names, by the way, unless I'm reading it. <gasps> and this like nice pastel piece of King Henry. Love it. Oh, and here's the third volume cover. Just so nice. Now, the quality of the print is really good. It's on a uh, almost like poster paper. Like, if I was brave enough to take out any of these pages, it could very easily hang up on my wall as a poster. Of course, I don't think I would ever do that. But really nice print quality. Uh, quite opaque, no bleed through really that I notice, considering that it's double sided. Wow, just beautiful. I'm gonna be flipping through this quite fast. I don't know if I'll include all of the footage. Um, just because I really suggest supporting the artist if you can and getting a copy yourself. There are quite a few listings for copies of this art book online, so it's definitely doable to buy one and not as expensive as you think. Art books are one of those things that they only get more expensive over time. So the fact that this was published back in 2018 means that you can find it for quite reasonable rates. Okay, I love this piece. Like, I think this was used in a promotion at some point because I saw it with a whole bunch of like red Japanese text all over it. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. 
There are so many pieces that I don't even recognize from the volumes. Oh my gosh, and these chibis are so cute. I wonder if they made like those rubber strap charms of the characters. Maybe I'll have to look through like some Japanese eBay's and see if they actually did. It would probably be too expensive for me to order, but I would love to see it. And they also have a list of works and comments. I will have to probably look up translations for these. I cannot read Japanese, unfortunately. We also have a special for this art book. Oh, and this is all of the concept art for the characters. <laughs> Richard was originally gonna look very different. I don't know. I think it's just a hairstyle. It's like he has that like emo haircut. It's seeing it. It's funny seeing it with like a center part. Wow, just all of the visual development and sketches. Uh, it's kind of interesting to see how some of the characters have changed designs or kept the same designs. Actually, specifically the Duke of Buckingham, I feel like he looks a little bit different than this in the manga. Oh, man, and the character sketches of the outfits. Love it. This must be more comments, I guess. I'm not too sure. And there you have it, the 2018 Requiem of the Rose King illustration works by Aya Kano. Wow, what a gorgeous book. Overall, I think it was worth ordering. I will probably stare at these for the next multiple days at least. Thanks for checking out this video and this flip through of this art book. Let me know if you have read Requiem of the Rose King or if you'd want this art book. Honestly, this art book definitely did not have that much commentary in it, unlike some other art Japanese art books that I own, which I kind of appreciate in a way because then I don't have to look up translations for everything, but also it's really interesting to see the artist's comments. <laughs> so it's kind of like whatever you prefer in an art book, whether it's just like the illustrations or if you'd like the commentary included too. Hey guys, it's Brie. And I thought to end off this video, I would just talk a little bit more about my experience ordering this off of eBay because I had a really great experience actually. So I ordered this art book sometime last week. I think I ordered it last Wednesday and it came in in a week straight from a seller in Japan. They gave me like the fastest shipping <laughs> available, I guess. Like I can't believe that it came in so fast. Uh, the way that they packaged it was just in a FedEx like cardboard slip kind of packaging. They included a really hard piece of cardboard to prop up the book. And overall it came basically in, in pretty good condition. There's like a little bit of where you can see on this corner and down here on the slip cover. But honestly, those kind of things don't really bother me, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, I will probably be linking the actual seller that I bought this from from eBay so that you guys, if you're interested in getting this art book, can check them out. I found that it was a really reasonable price. The shipping was quite expensive. I think it was like 30 Canadian dollars, which is a lot for shipping but with the actual speed of the shipping it came so freaking fast that i couldn't believe it i've ordered things from japan before specifically art books before and usually it takes at least a month so the fact that this shipped in one week during corona is like insane i don't know i'm just so excited that i added this to my collection i think one of these days i'll probably do a full art book collection tour because i actually own quite a few different art books including some that are kind of rare so stay tuned for that thank you so much for checking out this video i hope to see you guys soon and i hope you have a great day bye